So again, we are going to need our measurements from the bodice front and bodice back neckline. So up here and over here, make sure you record them again if you don't, but if you do, perfect, you are ready to start. So mine from the last example was three and a quarter inches. So I am going to Start further down the page as well, because this is going to look like a turtleneck for the bias full roll example. I'm going to start over here. Again, we're going to do an inch and three, or excuse me, three and three quarters of an inch. And then again, three, let's connect that too. Perfect. And again, one, two, three, and three quarters. So again, bias full roll is really just a fancy name for a turtleneck cutler. Once we have that line, we are going to connect up top, um, and connect to our top line, four inches above. So now the key with this, it's going to look kind of awkward at first, but for a turtleneck, the fabric is normally doubled up, so you we will have a fold line on this. So similar if you're making a waistband too. One, two, three, four inches up on that side, and again, four inches up. One, two, three, on this side. Go ahead, connect the lines again. And we're going to write in our neckline notches. So now this line here is our center front. So that notch that we started or at the 3.75 or your neckline measurement. Again, this measurement will might be different for your sloper. So plan accordingly for those. Next, at two inches up from the bottom, or you really could do from the top because it will be even, I'm going to make a dotted line through the center of this pattern and write fold line. Next, I'm going to my center, or excuse me, neckline front notches from the center front. So mine was two and a quarter inches. I'm gonna do neckline front. Let me do it again through here. One, two, and a quarter. Neckline front. And then we don't have to do the neckline back, but you can go ahead and write that if it's going to make it easier. You can do NB because that will pretty much be a giveaway on what that measurement is. And next, all that is left for this is to label. So I am going to line up my ruler because this one, if it's biased, that means we have to do our grain line accordingly. Which, let's see, is diagonal. There is my grain line, and I'm going to write collar. This is, oops, let's do chapter nine, example five. And this again is cut one. This is our center back, and this is also our center back, because when you go to sew it, you're actually gonna wrap it around and fold it and sew up this. So yeah, this is cut one because again, fold line, you can go ahead, cut it out and add it to an additional sheet of paper. This one is called the bias full roll. And that is it for this example. I'm going to zoom in so you can get a better picture of it. And that's all. Quick and easy.